Hello, boys, girls, and squirrels. This is Daniel, and I am excited today because I just downloaded Spitfire Audio's Originals Media Toolkit. And I've had the last couple hours to play around with it, and I've written a track that I want to play for you. I would call it Inspirational Corporate. And I'm not quite done with it, but I'm a good way into it enough to where I can show you what this library can do. Most everything you're going to hear comes from Originals Media Toolkit. The only thing that doesn't come from it is the kick drum and a second string layer that I put in. Every single other thing that you're going to hear comes from this toolkit. So you can hear what you can do with this toolkit. So let me go ahead and play that for you. And uh, then I'll, I'll go through the in instruments individually so I can show you them in individually. And uh, then I'll give you my overall impressions of this library. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the track. So yeah, that gives you a good idea. Um, I'm going to add some more to that track later. But yeah, that gives you a great idea of what this um, library can do. Um, you know, the main elements in this library, or the main element, I should say, is, is Paul Thompson's piano. He recorded his uh, Yamaha, I believe it's a Yamaha C3 piano. And uh, it's gorgeous. Let me play that piano for you. That's um, the key piece of this uh, piece of music that I wrote. So let me play that for you. Yeah, gorgeous. And this piano can really do that cinematic thing. It can do the, the like what I'm using it for today, inspirational corporate. Um, sounds great. Um, so here's a really cool thing about the Originals Media Toolkit. Inside of each sound, and so you're looking at the, uh, the Media Toolkit here, and it's the piano uh, patch. Inside of each patch, you have three sounds, and that's what this section is here. So you have your clean piano sound, you have this C3 EP sound, which is a, like an electric piano sound, and then you have a pad sound. And so every single instrument in the Media Toolkit is like this. You have three sounds in each sound folder. Um, which is great because that means you can come up with such a great combination of, of different sounds by changing these uh, volume levels. And then over here you have attack release and lush reverb and plate reverb. And I found myself uh, using a lot of lush reverb uh, in this piece. Uh, it just sounds really fantastic. So let me play just the, um, just the C3 EP so you can see what that sounds like by itself. So yeah, by itself, obviously it's thin and crispy, but with that clean piano sound, it sounds really great. It added that bite uh, that it, this track really needed. And then here's the pad sound. So awesome. So again, you got three sounds in each sound, and I ended up using all three sounds in that piano patch and was really happy with the, with the result. So moving on, um, there's a bass uh, patch inside of the media toolkit and I believe I heard Paul saying that it was a Moog bass uh, sub bass sound and if you if you're not used to using sub bass sounds on your pieces um, it really helps add that thickening uh, element on the bottom especially like I do a lot of orchestral stuff and it almost always <clears throat> excuse me I'm reaching for 
a good sub bass sound to put underneath the orchestra or, or even a piece like this. Um, I had the bass piano keys as the main bass of the song, but putting that synth underneath that, uh, this bass synth that's inside of Media Toolkit really just filled out that bottom. So let me play that for you. So yeah, there it is. And if you're listening on a phone, you probably didn't hear anything because your phone speakers are not going to be able to reproduce that sub bass. But very, very useful sound. Um, and so that that's a, a great thing to have inside this library that you can just layer in underneath your other bases if it's needed. And I find often uh, it is needed and it really helps to add that last uh, thickening professional layer to your tracks. Next sound I use, and I do have this one to show you, it's called Agro Sense, and um, it's a, a pad inside of it called Agro Sense. And I'll open this folder so you can just kind of see. Here's some of the elements that are inside of this library. And so um, this Agro Sense again, it has three sounds built into it: chainsaw, queasy, and motorized. Um, I ended up just using queasy with this particular sound, but the chainsaw had a really great sound and the motorized is, is more of a sound effect uh, just kind of a, a noise thing which can be really cool uh, but didn't work for this track so let me play that for you oh actually it comes a little bit later in the track Yeah, great sound, very useful. You could do a lot with that in a lot of different genres. I use the Waves One Knob Pumper to give it that pumping sound. Uh, but you can do that with side chaining. You can do that with a lot of other plugins. Um, and here, I'll play it with you, I'll play it for you without the uh, pumping. So, yeah, awesome sound, very useful. Um, the next thing I used was um, called Flute Effects, and I, I processed this track so I don't have the instrument to show you, but very, very neat sound, and I end up layering this sound underneath the whole piece. Let me play it soloed for you. And then in the track... Yeah, so it's subtly in there, but I thought it was a really neat effect. I'm, I'm pretty sure I used a ton of the Lush reverb on that sound. And uh, very useful. I thought it added a nice layer to this track. Um, the next thing he has is he, there's a guitar, and here's the instrument for that. Um, and actually didn't use the clean guitar sound. I ended up using the pad sound that uh, he made in this guitar patch, and it sounds like a string. Let me play that for you. Yeah, and you can hear that in the track. Let me play the track. Really cool sound, really useful. Um, the guitar sound itself, I can't play it for you right now because I disconnected my keyboard, but I thought the guitar sound was great. Uh, I just didn't find use for it in this track, but good guitar sound uh, very would be very useful. There's three more tracks that I have, and there was one really big surprise in this library that really makes me uh, excited to use this uh, toolkit in the future. And that's this sound right here. Um, I'm going to pull it up. It's under tuned percussion, and it's called Metallophone. I had never even heard of Metallophone until this library. Now I know what it is. I looked it up. This is a really cool sound, and I think it really added a cool element to this uh, this track. Let me play that for you soloed. Yeah, 
Yeah, I love that sound, and I could see myself using that a lot. I do a lot of orchestral uh, songs, and so I could see myself using it in orchestral music. Um, it worked great in an inspirational track like that. But it's just a texture that I didn't really have. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a texture that I didn't have. And it sounds really cool. It's a really unique sound. Again, there's three sounds within that sound. I end up using the soft glock and the hand, bell, hand bells all the way up. And then I have the stretched sound, um, 25%, with a little bit of lush reverb in there. And so anyway, there's so much you can do with this library with the three sounds that you can blend with the reverbs. Um, and I'm very impressed with this library. There's two other tracks. I'll show you those really quickly. There's this marimba track that I ended up using for kind of a rhythmic movement. And let me play that for you. I added some delay. I'll play it in the track. Yeah, so really cool. Great sound. Um, worked really well in the piece. And then there's one more thing I want to show you. It's the last track I, I did, and it's over here at the, at the, to the farther to the left of my session. By the way, all the red tracks are all the um, Media Toolkit tracks. Um, the only tracks that I used that weren't inside the Media Toolkit is just a kick and a, and a string and then a little crash uh, symbol at the end. But all these other tracks, most of the tracks in here are all from the Media Toolkit. This last one I want to show you I thought was just a little uh, icing on the cake of this library. And it's called Computer Keyboard. I don't have it to show you in the instrument because I processed it, um, committed it to audio. But he's got a section in here I can just show you real quick called, let's see, is it High Hits? Where is it at? It is under Household Hits. He's got this computer keyboard, um, which I believe is just sampling the sounds of hitting your keys on your computer keyboard. Um, and I was able to do something really cool with it. Let me play that for you. And now in the track. So there you have it. Lots of good stuff in there. I've only had it for for literally about three hours, so I haven't had a chance to even dive into some other stuff that are in there. But I'm I'm very impressed with what you get for $29. Um, well worth the money, in my opinion. Spitfire has done it again. They've got so many great products. Another home run for me. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please like this video and subscribe. I'm going to do a lot more videos like this and as well as talk about um, composing and songwriting. So I'm signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.